hello and welcome everybody to a brand new day. That's not a song, I just made it up and now I'm singing in a harmonic voice. I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Hi, I'm Jess. Let's get started. Um, one of the first thing, one of the things, not the first, that I like to add to my house is a nice little button. It's pretty simple. It's made by two stone, the smooth stone, not cobblestone, pieces put right next to each other, side by side, whatever, famous duo, whatever you want to call them. And you get this button. You put this button on the outside of your house, you click it, you open, you walk through. Then you take a pressure pad, which is made by two wood, side by side, epic duo, and just walk on out. And I know what you're thinking, but Jesse, why if I have two does? Well, I say, start speaking proper English, and stop whining to me. I found a button. Okay, let's see. We've got one button on the side. Unfortunately, it has to be on this one side. It cannot be on this other side, or it will not work. But you can do that. And then on this side, you have pressure pads to get out of your house. Now, you can do that, or pressure pads in and out. But I don't like that because mobs, if they're smart enough, can get in. And I don't have mobs in my house. Our house. Now let me show you how this is made. Okay, um, the simplest way to do this is dig a hole uh, too deep all around your house. And now one of the doors, when you place redstone in front of it without this torch, will be automatically open. So you set up one of these babies and voila, it shuts. Now when you activate the power right here, this light shuts off turning this off and opening the door. And when the power goes over here, it obviously opens up this door. Now, to get it on both sides, all you have to do is, you don't even have to have those, is just have it underneath your pressure pads and wrapped around to this first one so that it activates this door and b activates this redstone torch, shutting this off and opening this door. So like I had earlier, oops, and then just place your pressure pads and there you go, you've got a nice little double door opening as you walk through it and then you just fill in all of this area now this part right here has to remain intact you cannot push, put, put a block right there otherwise it blocks off this redstone in the corner right there but thankfully when you cover up all of this well, Huh. You can. Because you can't place a block right there. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about this. Um, I will reconvene. Okay, simple little fix. I basically just stopped the video, <laughs> dug this hole, and placed it back on. It was very simple. I thought it was going to take me a. I didn't want to, like, waste time in this video because I only have 10 minutes, so I need to hurry. All you have to do is dig two holes down. One hole will not work. And then just have it run in, and then as you see, voila. Alright, let's get on to the next part. And there it is. Not this, not this yet, not that. Is a nice chimney. Chimneys look extremely nice. Looks even nicer when you don't have this giant farm on the side. As you can see, you got it right there. You know, just build a eight circle brick thing. Now this takes a lot of clay. Thankfully I have too many items in mine. And uh, what I like to do is add a furnace and then all you have to do is take a lava bucket and not do that. Put that in and let's burn something. Burn. burn. Uh, let's give me one piece of wood. And then boom. Got a nice little fireplace going on over there. I would not recommend putting... Uh, well, if your house is made out of stone, which will be in a later episode, uh, place another rack right below that and then start the fire. But in this, my house will burn down and I will not like that. Next thing, the wheat, f or the nice little 
sugarcane farm. Now, as you will be able to tell, all I have is pistons that push off the second up block of the thing. And now you can make this into a timer. All I did was simply connect it to a uh, lever so I can activate it whenever. I got my lever whenever. Press it. You hear the pistons. Retract pistons. Now they don't always fall, but it's a nice combination with your infinite water right here because then I can take water out of this, yet it still acts as a nice little uh, convenience area. And now you can do this with a cactus farm, which I will be in a later episode. I will show you how to make that. And let's go see how we make this. Now, uh, let's go down here. As you can see, the lever is... R well, you can't see the lever, but the lever is behind this wall, and it just leads up into that. That doesn't really matter. I put it on support pillars just because I thought it looked cool. But, anyways. And then, as you can see, it... that doesn't matter. It goes up here, through here, through a repeater to... Uh, so it uh, has more connection because it restarts, I believe it's 15 blocks. Then you have another one right here. Aha. And now, I wasn't sure so I put a thing right there. As you can see, some of them don't always fall off. And I believe I have a row of 20, 3, 4. But this running water will work as a, a growth supply, so you don't need that back one that I put there. It was just a test. It's my control group. So you can add that. And let's get on to the final thing. Back to the peppy voice talk. Yeah. I'm a douche. For the douche, for the douche, for the mother douche. Um, got a nice, nice little piston activation right there for you and then you walk back here and let's turn off the flying mod and you have yourself a nice t tunnel now what I did was uh, when you're looking down at the ground or I'll show I'll show you what I did but as you can see you can just fall down in the water it has to be three deep otherwise you'll take damage climb back up and then you have every two so you get to see these two, you get to see this one, you get to see these two, and then it continues throughout the entire thing, and you see a bunch of the map, and then you can make it multiple level levels by making a double one right there, and then, but, uh, you want to make this on the 12th or higher level, this is on the 12th, like this level right here is the 12th, so this is 13, 14, you tell by going down to the lowest bedrock in the bedrock that you see right there that you can't go any lower is zero yes zero and then you count up okay and then I put doors on them they're not dug but in case mobs spawn back there then they can't come at me bro let's go up to the top oh yeah let's I'm gonna show you I was like oh yeah I'll show you that let's go up Round, 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 round. Ooh, I gotta dig, gotta dig, gotta dig. Cause I'm getting close to the 10 minute mark. 10 minute. Okay, um, for digging a hole. Put it aside. No, I'm not Real quick. Uh, as you can see, it helps with the flying mod, but you don't need it. Let's turn off flying. When you get down, oop, you never dig straight down and I just dug into that. <laughs> Run, sprint. Ooh. Ooh, let me stop. It's him. It's daytime. Alright, let's dig right here. Um, now you can do one that is like this. That is perfectly acceptable. You can make one that's like this. That is perfectly acceptable. Or like this, like I like to do. Now, when you're going there, it's nice to hold shift or whatever you have it set to. Dig three down. 
You dig three down. Dig three down. Dig three down. Never dig down. Never dig down. It's the number one rule in Minecraft. I know there's nothing here, so I'm just gonna dig down. Um, let's give him a pickaxe. Okay, and then every third level is what I did, but this takes a lot of torches, so unless you have the tor or the coal to do this, don't. And then you place torches right around the corner. Right around the back. And then it makes for an epic fall down. And then you place lat damn it I did four. Um anyways, it doesn't matter. As long as every third one you're going down. So you dig three down again, and then you'd repeat the process of this. Then you place your letters in here. And then if you're like me, just use the flying mod. And that is the end of episode two. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, be sure to catch episode three when it is out in a couple of days. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, my brothers from Nother Mothers. I am white.